the most powerful open source AI image model just dropped, Quinimage. It's great at writing text in English and Chinese, and it nails the details, getting the style and placement exactly right. But it is not all green in paradise. It's not perfect. In this video, we'll look at the good, the bad, and everything in between. Let's go. In the first part of the tutorial, I'll guide you through the template workflow and show how to get the different Quinn image models available. Later, we go through different use cases. The chapters to navigate through the video are found in the description. In Comfy UI, go to Templates. Click on Image and select the Quen Image Workflow template. The workflow provides a guide of the base models required, as well as where to place them in the Comfy UI directory. Step 1 is to load the models. You will need the specific diffusion and text encoder models. The VE is also provided, but you can also use the WAN 2.1 VE. Step 2 is to set the resolution. You can use several of them. Step 3 is the prompt. The power of Quen is the ability to create the composition you want, so you need to provide as much details as possible. For that, you can use any LLM of your choice. Last is the sampler. Check out the notes about the shift and the CFG to start with. However, there is a lot of experimentation you can do here. Quen image is powerful but requires of a lot of resources. Later we will see how we can use quantized models for more modest setups. In the Comfy UI Hug and Face repository, you can download the different versions of the models. There you have FP8 and BF16 versions of the models. In general, it is advised to use the FP8 versions of both text encoder and diffusion model. Later, we will see if there is any significant difference between them. Comfy also has the distilled versions of the models. The RM requirements are the same, but generation time is half with less steps and a CFG of 1. In Hug and Face you can also find out the quantized models of Quen Image, which you can use for machines with less VRM. GGUF files of the distilled model are also available already. With only this, it is possible to create AI images using Quen Image. Just use any detailed prompt you like. Quen Image is great at capturing the details that you indicate. It is great at adding attributes and capturing the lightning you describe. However, it lacks variability when you use random seeds. Expect the same person appearing all the time. Only with very specific samplers and settings, and using some tricks like using names for subjects, result in more variety. At the end, defining ethnicity and the specific face features work better, so they preferable need to be defined in the prompt. Let's benchmark the different models that can be used for Quen Image. We fix the seed and set the steps to 40 and a CFG of 2.5. We run with the FP8 models, as in the template -y workflow. This is our reference, so check out the details. We now change the FP8 model and use the BF16. There are very small differences. In the BF16 you can see the left arm, and some other minor changes. Let's now use the full text encoder with the BF16 model. Almost identical, only subtle differences in the arm, the deck and the neckline. Let's try now with the distilled model. We reduce the steps to 15 and the CFG to 1. With the distilled model the composition is the same, but there are noticeable differences. Nonetheless, the distilled model is much faster. To use quantized models, we need to add the GGUF loader node. Select the Q8 model and connect to the model sampling or a flow node. Then run the workflow. Again, minimal differences. In the Q8 model we see the left arm again, like in the BF16. I personally prefer the Q8 model. Finally, let's try with a smaller Q4 quantized model. The Q4 image is still nice, 
but we lose prompt adherence and quality. See that it does not hold the selfie stick anymore. Results with objects and scenes are great, though. Changing and describing the prompt to show a beautiful picture of a product is really easy with Quinn Image. You can reproduce real objects or do changes in the reality to show new products and brands. This is great for product advertising. Quinn Image is also great describing scenes. Here we create the image of a bedroom with three posters. By changing the prompt, we car redraw these posters and modify the color of the bed sheets. Quen image stands out with artistic images. Sometimes, it can hallucinate, like in this bird with three wings. However, changing the seed normally fixes the error. With the right prompt, it is fun to play around with famous paintings and drawings of famous artists. Quen image claims to be excellent on text rendering with images. To some extent it is, but creation of complex infographics seems to be rather difficult. After several hours I did not manage to get properly the carbon cycle. Still, the text rendering works quite okay with posters or images that require less complexity. In this poster, text is great. More worrying is the lack of diversity of the subjects, which we already discussed before. Another use case, which is great, it is the creation of YouTube thumbnails. The text recognition is not perfect, but it is great in making compositions and creating amazing visuals. If you get some of them right, you can later fix in a regular image editor. I hope you liked this deep dive. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.